Hello everyone, welcome to SRDC Facts. In today's video, we'll be talking about Tailhead.com. So I'm sure most of you guys who are trying to learn Salesforce, you must have heard this term Tailhead.com. But maybe few of you still don't know how you can use Tailhead.com to learn Salesforce. So let's explore Tailhead.com in today's video. So first of all, Tailhead.com is a learning platform for Salesforce technology. So if you want to learn anything in Salesforce technology, you can find trails on Tailhead.com to learn that particular topic or that particular technology. So just to give an example, if you want to master the admin area of Salesforce.com, you can find trails on Tailhead.com to learn admin stuff. If you want to learn development in Salesforce technology, you can find the development trails in tailored.com to learn development stuff as well. If you want to become an architect in salesforce.com, there are architects trails as well. So almost everything related to Salesforce technology, you can find it on tailored.com. So how to start with tailored.com? What are the things that you need? So first of all, you just need to type in tailhead.salesforce.com in your browser and you will see this page. This is the home tab where you will see the different tails that you can choose from but let's say you are very new to salesforce and you want to start learning salesforce from basics so how you can do it so for that you need to click on this trails menu so here you will see different filters and options to help you find your learning path or the trails you are interested into so you can filter these different trails with your own interest so let's say if i am interested in admin trails I'll simply click on admin role here. So all the admin trails will show up on the bottom of this page. So since I've chosen the admin role, I have three different levels for me. The beginner, the intermediate and the advanced level. So here I'll simply select the beginner level. There are 46 different trails available to learn basics of admin stuff in Salesforce. So if you just scroll down, you will see this trail admin beginner. So just click on it. So once you click on a trail, you will see there are different modules and projects within that trail. So for our admin beginner trail, I can see there is a plate, Salesforce platform basics module which will help you to learn uh, basics of Salesforce. You can find the description as well about a particular module or a project. Then there is data modeling, data management, lightning experience customization, reports and dashboard. So these are all basic stuff that your admin should learn in Salesforce. So start with any of this trail or any of these modules, you can simply click on that particular module and now it will open the different topics from that particular module or that particular project. So here we'll see there are like five to six different topics on this particular module. Just click on any of these topic and you will see the article for that topics. So from here you can start learning about that particular module or about that particular trail or about that particular topic. Once you go through this article, at the bottom of this page, you will see a challenge. So this challenge is nothing but to check your knowledge from that particular article. A challenge can be a questionnaire where they can ask you different questions from that particular article or it can be assignment as well where you need to do some admin stuff in your own Salesforce developer org or maybe some programmatic stuff in your developer org. And these challenges will only come from the particular article which you have just finished learning. So that means like the challenge that you are seeing here will only include the questions or the assignment that you just learned on this page only. So after completing this challenge, you'll get the points. So these points will help you to achieve different ranks in trailhead.com. We'll talk about that later on. So now you see, I cannot take part in this challenge because I need to log in in my Salesforce developer org to take part in this challenge. That means you need to register for trailhead.com to link your particular developer org with tailhead.com where you can perform the programmatic or the configuration assignment in your developer org where tailhead will check the assignment so if you come on the top of this trailhead.com page you will see two buttons sign up and login once you click on the sign up button you will see different options available to register yourself with trailhead.com so there are different options like you can register yourself with a salesforce.com account you can register yourself with a linkedin account or a google account so for the demonstration purpose, I'll use my Google account here. And you see, you will end up on this page where you need to fill your own details. Fill up all your details and click on let's get started. Now you have your own tailhead.com account. If you see, you will see your name here. You can go to your profile. You can check your badges, points and trails that you have completed. 
so for now we still haven't completed anything if you want to get more details about these ranks just click on about ranks so if you have zero badges and zero points you are on scout rank if you have one badge and 200 points you are on hiker rank and if you have more badges and more points your rank will keep on increasing the highest rank is ranger rank where you have earned 100 badges and also 50,000 points in your tailor.com account. For my account, the current rank is scout since I have 0 badges and 0 points in my account and my next rank is hiker. So now we have our tailored account ready. So let's create a developer edition account to link it up with our tailored account. How you can do it? Just go to Google and type in sign up for Salesforce developer edition org. And then you need to click on this sign up link once you click on it you need to fill all these different details in the end you need to type in your username as well so your username should be unique across all the salesforce org. once you do it you will get an email with all the details where you can change your password and you can log in your developer org. so you will receive an email like this so you just need to click on this verify account here and then you need to select your own password Once you submit this form, just click on change password and it will take you to your developer edition org. This is your own developer edition org which is completely free for use. You can use it for your lifetime. There is no expiration for a developer edition org as long as you keep using it. So these developer edition orgs are very helpful to try your hands on in Salesforce technology. So you can do all the admin stuff and all the development stuff in your developer edition org. And since we have a developer edition log now, let's try to link it up with our uh, trailhead.com account. Now let's go to trails again. Select our trail from here. Go to our module and the topic. And come to this challenge section. So here you'll see that trailhead has created a playground for you by default. So a playground is a developer edition of the trailhead creates for you so that you can do all the admin and development tasks but you can also log in to your developer edition org that you have just created so if you want to log in this playground you can simply click on launch but if you want to log in your developer edition org you need to select log into developer edition org option here and it will take you to this username and password screen where you need to provide your developer edition org credential And once you are logged in, the trailhead will ask you if you want to save this particular developer edition org with your trailhead.com account. So just simply click on save. And now you can simply take your challenge. So just click on launch here. So it will directly open your developer edition org without any username and password required. And you can perform this assignment here, which involves creating a new field on the contact object. So you can simply go to contact object in your developer edition account. And from here, you can create a new field called loan amount. And the type of this field should be currency. Just give the label as loan amount and save it once you perform your required step you can simply click on this button to check your challenge and trailhead will go to your developer edition org and will check it if you have completed the particular assignment or not and based on the result it will either grant you the points or it will show you the error and now you see our assessment is complete and trailhead has given us 500 points to complete this particular assignment so this you can check in your profile as well so just go to your profile you will see your points are 500 now now few more things about trailhead.com is you can also save your favorite trail so that you don't have to go and find them again and again so for example let's try to save our this particular admin beginner trail just click on this 
heart symbol here and it will be saved in your favorite trails so you can check your uh, favorite trails just by going under your profile and the favorite zone so so you can easily access your trails when you next time visit trailer.com so we have talked about trails let's talk about the modules so modules are included within a trail so if you are not completing a particular trail you can also select the modules and again you will have all the different filters for you like if you want to check all the admin modules or the developer module you can check those from here very similar to these you can also check projects as well so the projects are to test your knowledge in a particular topic so again there are different projects available on tailor.com which you can complete and again you can filter these out based on your role and the level so this is how easy it is to start learning salesforce technology from tailor.com so that's all from this video guys if you still have any queries you can comment on this video and i'll try to answer as soon as possible see you next time